Welcome back. This is Scott with Sigma Signals. I just I put in a few uh, lines here. This is uh, these are trend lines. This is a new trend line that I put in. We broke through one that I had right here, and then we retrusted the bottom of it right there. This is an important trend line, and it, I think so far it's it's showing a support. Um, there's more support here at this level, and then again, there's quite a bit of support in the forty-one to forty-two thousand uh, dollar range. Now, this is the 12 hour. Obviously, on the six hour, we did have a confirmed short, which I'll, I'll pull up here. We had a confirmed short uh, approximately an hour and a half, uh, hour and 20 minutes ago. We had our confirmed short at 46,600, just, just almost exactly the price that we're at right now. What do I think will happen? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we do have strong support uh, going down from where we are right now in the 46s all the way down to uh, 40, 41, let's say 41,000. So, Quite a bit of support in different ways. Um, the overall market did take a tumble, so it's it's kind of expected that Bitcoin, being the tip of the whip, will experience liquidity issues as people try to cover off their losses or their their leverage on other things. Um, having said that, I think more of the market is is switching towards institutional, meaning that corporations are now putting it in their funds. Uh, versus retail. Retailers would be the ones that would be influencing this uh, the most in the short term. But in the long term, I think we're seeing more and more institutional investment, uh, such as Square and uh, Apple Pay and PayPal would be buying into this. So over time, we're going to see less of the, the impact of these quick market moves affecting Bitcoin as it is right now. Overall, the trend is still positive. Uh, it was expected to get a, a reset because it was just overheated. We went from 10,800 to uh, almost 60,000 in a very short time frame. So it's, it's not unheard of, not un unexpected. This might be an opportunity for people to, to accumulate or reaccumulate, uh, especially corporations. Where is it going to go? I don't know. If you are a, a normal trader, if you're not an advanced trader, if you're just a normal trader, then you might want to look at the six hour because it'll always put you in the right position. Uh, of the trend. You may lose a small amount if it goes sideways, but in the event that we have a major meltdown, you'll be already in the right position and you'll, you'll, you'll do well. Now, if you're an advanced trader, you may want to look at these trend lines, create your own trend lines, uh, and then also look at the, the longer time frames like the, the 12 hour. The 12 hour is indicating um, no change. So it first went long, it went, went long way back here at 10.8 and it hasn't gone short yet. So what will happen? No one knows. Um, it's if you're if you're an advanced trader, just do do what you think is best. And if you're uh, if you're a new trader, then you might want to look at the six hour because that that one will always put you in the right position. That's what I have for you today. Be safe.